Hi, Nona kids. Can you think of something that you've had to wait a long time for? Maybe it was a visit from grandma or grandpa, or maybe you have a hard time, like me, waiting to open presents on Christmas morning every year. Well, waiting isn't easy, but one thing I've learned is that when we wait for God, He often surprises us in unusual ways just to show His love for us. Kind of like sending His Son to be born to the Virgin Mary, a Son who never sinned, who loved perfectly, and who would become our Savior so that we could meet God in heaven one day. On the first Christmas, God gave us the gift He knew that we needed the most, Jesus. And boy, was it worth the wait. Merry Christmas, Nona kids. You guys are so special and we love you so much. And so does God. We hope that you have an amazing week. Merry Christmas. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Sorry, I'm just waiting. Hmm. Oh, come on! Why won't it just happen already? <sighs> Sorry, kids. I guess I'm just a little bothered today because, well, I'm just waiting for my moment. You know, that big, luxurious moment that happens to everyone before they become famous and successful. I'm just waiting for my moment, you know? It's just taking forever. I wish there was a way to speed up all this waiting, you know? Make it go by faster. But what makes time go by faster? Hmm. Well, there's that one phrase that says time flies when you're having fun. So that means the more fun I have, the less time I will have to wait. All right, so I have to have fun. Okay, so what is fun? Hmm. Ah, what about a game? Let's see what we got. Aha! We're gonna play one of my favorite games. Jenga. Jenga! Look at that. Ah, the classic game of Jenga. Jenga, which is Latin for blocker. All right, let's start. Where should we start? Where should I start? Let's do the middle one, because that seems to be working again. <laughs> middle one, down. All right, which one next? I think we're going to live on the edge a little bit. On the edge of Jenga. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Now what? Oh, you want me to like, actually play yeah. the game of Jenga? Hmm, let's do this one. on the edge a little bit. You see this one? This is one holding up this whole stack. And I have the confidence I can pull it out. <sighs> one, two, three. That didn't work. Well, man, that was fun. I bet you that took a whole two hours. Oh, wait. That was only 34 seconds. Man! Oh, hey, Sam. Carl, how you doing? Well, okay, I guess. You guess? What's wrong? Well, I'm tired of waiting, Sam. Waiting? Waiting for what? For my moment. It's taking forever. All right, I guess I'm lost. What moment? Okay, there comes a moment in every person's life where they have a, that, that moment. Something that changes them from someone normal to someone super important and successful. Interesting. I guess I didn't realize that. Yeah. Well, now I'm left here waiting, waiting for it to happen, 
and I just don't know when it ever will. Well, waiting can be hard. I get that. I know a story of a couple of people who also had to wait for something a long time. Really? Who? Their names are Simeon and Anna. They lived in the time when Jesus was born. Oh, so a long, long time ago. Yeah, well, Simeon was a man who loved God with all of his heart and devoted his whole life to God. Sounds like a good guy. Simeon received the promise from God that he would see the Savior with his own eyes before he died. Wow, what a promise. I can imagine Simeon liked that news. But he waited a long time. He became very old, and it still hadn't happened yet. And there was another person, and her name was Anna. She was a prophet, and she was also very old. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I have to wait until I'm very old before my moment happens. That doesn't sound fun. Just hang on, Carl. Anna also loved God and worshipped God all the time, so much that she almost never left the temple. Was she waiting for Jesus too? Yes, she studied God's word with all her heart. And in the scriptures, there were promises of the Savior coming. She believed with all her heart that the Savior was on the way. So did they get to meet Jesus? Yup. And it just so happens that it was tradition for the parents to take their babies to the temple. Why? Was there a daycare there or something? No, no. They went to dedicate their children to God. They asked for prayers of blessing so that their family can grow in ways that would please God. How cool! So Mary and Joseph did the same thing. They took baby Jesus to the temple. <gasps> and Simeon and Anna were there? Yup. They both got to meet Jesus. They praised God and thanked God for finally sending the long-awaited Savior. It was a great moment, and it was a huge celebration because their wait was finally over. Wow, that was their moment. But instead of becoming successful, I guess it was the chance to have Jesus in their life. Absolutely. You see, if we wait for success, fame, love, and acceptance from anything but God, we will be waiting for a long time, even if we find all those things. Why is that? Well, everything else falls short compared to Jesus. Jesus is the reason why we celebrate not only Christmas, but every day. Jesus came to earth so that everyone could be saved. The people of Israel waited forever. Simeon and Anna waited forever. But Jesus was worth the wait. Wow, I guess you're right. Now that I think about it, Jesus is the one we've been waiting for. And that's the big idea I've been waiting for. <laughs> what? Damn! If you said that, I said the big idea that I didn't even realize it. Sam! Today's big idea is Jesus is the one we've been waiting for. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One. Two. Three. Jesus, Jesus is the one we've been, we've been, been waiting, waiting for. for. Oh yeah, we have been waiting for Jesus. Yes. Sam, I appreciate you helping me understand all this. I guess my moment will just look a little different than I expected. Yeah, and that's okay. You know what's better than a big successful moment? A dance party? A dance party. See you next week, kiddos. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. And now it's time for a Christmas commercial. And what does every Christmas commercial need? A present, of course. Would you like to know how you could unwrap this present? Wait for it, wait for it. All right, all right, I'll tell you. If you memorize our verse for December, you will have a chance to open and keep this present. I'll give you one hint about what's inside.
goes along with this month's theme. Okay, let's go over the Bible verse so you can start practicing at home. Micah 7, 7 says, But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. Send in your video to nonakids at nonachurch.com so we can hear you saying your verse. And then we'll add your name to the drawing for the present. Guess what? You also will get a bonus entry if you're decorated for Christmas and your video. Have fun and we can't wait to see your entries. Shepherds quake at the sight 
bright glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly host sing hallelujah. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Lord at thy Jump up and down, shouting. 